not satisfied with the rape and anarchy of Ireland, they have begun to attack every institution, every interest, every class and calling in the country. So, so all along this so-called government of Mr. Gladstone's has behaved like a body of men under the influence of some deleterious drug. <laughs> I watched them. Mm. And as time progressed, it was not difficult to perceive that extravagance was being substituted for energy by this government. Some sought refuge in melancholy. And their eminent chief alternated between a menace and a sigh. <laughs> As I sat opposite the treasury bench, the, the ministers reminded me of one of those marine landscapes that are not unusual on the coasts of South America. <laughs> you behold a range of exhausted volcanoes. <laughs> Not a flame flickers on a single pallid crest. <laughs> Yet, the situation is still dangerous. There are occasional earthquakes, and ever and anon, the dark rumblings of the sea. <laughs> is as much for you as it is for him. They have seen his devotion to you. And I have seen a perfect marriage. Did he marry me for my money? But, well, if he had to do it again, I think he'd marry me for love. Did you see his face where it all 